Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Anything Bowl Where Anything Goes. My name is Miguel. <laughs> I'm Brendan. And welcome to episode 83, folks. Today on the dock, we've got uh, a bit different than usual. There's no it's crazy a- movie. There's no event. There's no anything. But there's a big fucking lizard. There's a big fucking lizard. We're going to talk about <laughs> Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla Minus One just came out. Haven't seen it yet. Uh, the new Godzilla movie for next year has a bunch of posters and like images that are coming out. So yeah. we're just going to talk about like the MonsterVerse and the big fucking monkey. 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 <laughs> 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 so Brendan, yeah, once again it is Christmas time. Uh, it's not you know, yet. It's December. La 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 la. It is December. La 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 podcast. That was bad. That was bad fucking song. <laughs> oh, what a weird day. Yeah. What a weird fucking day. What do you want to start with? Because right, my plan for the episode is is Godzilla stuff. We can talk Timeline about the movie. Timeline, yeah. Timeline. And then at some point we're going to talk about the hockey game we went to last night. Yeah. Probably around the end. And then, uh, all then we the can talk about the new game that we're playing. Oh yes. <laughs> Such a great fucking game. <laughs> um, all the new trailers that came out and uh, some other tidbits. Other tidbits. So, there's tidbits. The ending. Time yes. codes below. All right. So Are there? There's always time codes below. I don't you know how much time that takes for I me? I don't watch. <laughs> and it shows. Does it? It does. Mm. Fuck you. Okay. So <laughs> Godzilla 2014. Yes. I'm going to go right off the bat. Ready? You didn't see I've it. I've never seen it before. Bastard. I've watched the other ones a bunch of times. I've seen Kong Skull Island, I think, three or four times, but I've never seen the original so one. I'm going to break this down for you in about... 30 seconds. Lizard. Okay, there's a big fucking lizard. Yeah. His name is Godzilla. Mm. Brian Kranz is in the movie. Mm. Uh, Walter White. Yeah, Walter White, uh, like height of his fame, uh, does not matter. Um, then oh, yeah, he, he dies. Yeah, um, he dies almost immediately. And then the two main characters mm. are brother and sister um, Maximov from uh, oh, Ave- yeah, and they're, they're Avengers love, right? fame. Yes. And it's really and they're weird in love and it's very creepy and it's weird. And it's, and oh, then, it's like from a couple years right before they were brother and sister? No, the same year. Um <laughs> Really? <laughs> yep. Uh, Ultron, uh, Age of Ultron came out, and then this came out like six months later, and everyone was like, "That, that's your sister. Um, Y'all are fucking. Uh, and uh, Godzilla showed up, and they're like, oh no, it's Godzilla, but like the Cloverfield monster showed up, and um, just you're, you're really weird. running the show right uh, now. It, I have no it, idea what the fuck it, you're It's saying. not actually the Cloverfield monster, but it might as fucking well be. Godzilla. Uh, oh, the, the weird thing with the, yeah, the flathead. <laughs> and the, yeah. Yes. Doesn't Godzilla like breathe down its mouth hole? I think there's two of them. Uh, um, oh, yeah, because there's one still alive at yeah. the end of the second one. Yeah. And then... Uh, it is, once again, far too hot to wear this hat. So take it off. I don't want to. You can take off the flannel. I'm festive. Okay. <laughs> so on a budget of $160 million in 2014, a gross of 530 Not a crazy win. Not a crazy W. Not a crazy amount of money compared to, you know, the Marvel movies that we fucking see every weekend. Yeah. A little tidbit, though, about that movie. Yeah. Um, the original Godzilla sound is what they used for Godzilla. They sent them the original tape, mm. and then they digitally um, recorded it so that they can use it forever because apparently the audio file ah. of the original Godzilla is degrading yeah. really poorly. Of course. Um, so now it should last much, much longer. Dude, that's a whole thing. I, I, I want to... I don't want to do this right now well, because these movies have been around since the 50s, but I would really love to just sit down and be able to watch all of these. You know the first, how like, 30 fucking many... Movies, yeah. There's like 60, right? 50, 60? Why would you want 60 Godzilla movies, 90% of which are not in English? Yeah. You ain't going to make it. Wanting to and actually doing are two very different things, okay? Wait, why are they ranked in which one? No, I want them in release order. Fuck. You, you're telling me you wouldn't want to watch that or anything? No, I've seen a couple of them over the years. The but original like, ones? Yeah, like baby Man Godzilla ones seen. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh... Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, Mecha Godzilla. You want um, me to just quote some of the titles? Because this is one of my favorite things that we do, where we read through movies that have far too many. Yes, go for it. Godzilla. So long. What King a- Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla versus Monster Zero. Uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Godzilla versus The Thing. Gidra, the three-headed monster. Godzilla versus the sea monster. Son of Godzilla. Destroy all monsters. Godzilla's Revenge. Godzilla versus Smog Monster. Godzilla on Monster Island. G-Man. Versus Mecha Godzilla, Terror of Mecha Godzilla, <laughs> Godzilla versus Megalon, Megalon. Wish it said Megalodon. That'd be so much better. Can you imagine Godzilla fighting a giant fucking shark? That'd be awesome. Um, I don't want to read any more of these. There's yeah, too many. I was, I was saying, about to say. Something. I would love to watch these because I'm so. It's the same concept every time, or pretty close to it, right? Nuke, lizard, big fucking lizard destroys for some reason part of Japan every single time. Metaphor for the United States. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, that makes total sense. Uh, but I, I, I'm dying to watch like Shin Godzilla because apparently it's really good. It, yeah, no, I've Godzilla seen... minus one that just came out. Like the trailers look great and it's fresh at a 97. Is it the sequel to it? No, 
separate. Completely. Entirely. Every time one of these Godzilla movies comes out, except for right now, <clears throat> it's in its own fucking universe. Like, and then there's like a three part on a Netflix that apparently is really fucking bad, like an animated one. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't have any desire to watch that. Neither do I. <laughs> um, but right after the first Godzilla, why don't we get back to uh, the modern era? Um, Kong Skull Island. <clears throat> Kong Skull Island. You and me have both seen this one. We just watched it recently, and uh, it was way better than I remember it being. Really? Didn't we see that in theaters? No, we saw it at my house. Um, really? Yeah, I can't tell that story on the podcast, so. I don't remember that story. So I told it the other day. Did you really? Like two days ago. When we were watching Kong Skull Island? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. Uh, I, I love this fucking movie. I think, I love the fact that just from the jump, they were like, we're going to do all of these. They're like, we, they put out the one Godzilla movie, it did pretty well financially, whatever, and they're like, you know what, we're yeah. going to, we want to make a King Kong movie for the modern era. And we're going to fucking make them fight. Monkey. And we were like, awesome, man. When's it going to happen? They're like, you know, we like six or seven years, but it'll happen. Don't worry about it. <laughs> they announced it. And then we're like, every time they put out a movie, we're like, all right, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're yeah. going to get there. This is the most spaced out franchise I've ever fucking it's seen. It's so fucking Every strange. time they come out with one, I'm like, oh, they're still doing that. Yeah. Um, well, because it doesn't make like, right. So the first one made whatever, uh, 500 and change. Yeah. This one on a budget of 185, which is fucking crazy. Made about 400. So not a huge gain. King of the Monsters underperformed. The, the Godzilla 2, third one in the universe, underperforms. Uh, Godzilla vs. Kong comes out like during the pandemic, so it goes to HBO Max. Can't really do anything crazy. I saw crazy. that in theaters. Did you really? Yeah. I saw it on HBO Max. Oh. But it can't do much because it's, it's fucking pandemic times. Yeah. Then you get to now, and somehow, someway, they're already making another one with the longest annoying title that I've ever seen. They could just simplify it. Give it a full name. Why is it Godzilla x Kong, the new empire? And a TV show at the same time. Monarch, Legacy of Monsters, yes. But. Good show. We will get to those. We will, yes. Because you haven't finished fucking watching it yet. No, I have not. It's so good. Um, but, uh, Kong, Kong Skull, Skull Island. Island. What a fucking stacked cast. Stacked cast. What a stacked shot fucking cast. beautifully. The yes. cinematography is A lot is of those incredible. shots are so good. Yeah. The colors. Uh, the calamari eating scene what? was just like great. Like when he What's kills a squid. John, John C. Just, Riley? John C. Riley, John Goodman. Um, Tom Hiddleston. Brie Larson before she was just Tom Hiddleston <laughs> before uh, she was a uh, Captain Marvel or she was uh, hated by the internet. Uh, yeah. uh, you also have Doctor Doom. Uh, also before he was hated by uh, Hollywood. Samuel Jackson, still beloved by Hollywood. Yes, right. <laughs> but there's, yeah, there's craziest more. fucking plot line ever. I'm gonna kill that monkey, dude. You're like six foot, and that's um a sixty story tall like gorilla. Like what? What the fuck are you doing? Like you, you're not gonna take on that monkey. He's like, but there's <laughs> guns at this ship. And he, I can do it. <laughs> Kong Skull Island is, is so, it's like, I love it because there's a certain random humor to it. Mm -hmm. There is this like, right, if you watch Godzilla, uh, King of the Monsters, there are multiple parts where I'm watching this movie and I'm like, oh my God, the human characters, they suck. Oh, they're going to die. And every single time it's like, Godzilla saves the day from off screen. Every single time. There's no humor. It's all this dramatic, whatever. Kong Skull Island will be like, this man's going to sacrifice himself. <laughs> he's got these grenades, he's clicking them, and then a monster just flicks him at a fucking wall. It's amazing. Yeah. They have the big spider. The big spider shows up. They're like, oh my God, it's a big spider. And the spider just starts fucking skewering everybody. I like that it like blends in <laughs> with the bamboo. Exactly. It's very and creative. Then it, but then it shows up and it's like skewing people through the mouth and coming yeah. up the asshole. The, the villains are just like the sandworms from Beetlejuice, but with like arms. There's a lot of really cool fucking animals in this movie. Yeah. Like they're not necessarily the villains. They just exist there. Reacher design is really cool. Because like you have Godzilla, King of the Monsters, oh, which we're gonna about to get to. But like those are all established creatures already. So you kind of have to go with the design of that. This, they just had a lot of creativity to just yes. be like, let's make it whatever. I could just make uh -uh. whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. Unlike the Peter Jackson one where they're like, let's throw dinosaurs in there. I think Kong Skull Island is... It, 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 we're not going to rank them. We're not going to make some crazy thing because there's not enough movies in this for me to think that... We're not diehard fans. We don't no, have to like do that. it's fun. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to say off the bat, this is easily the best one. Yeah. Because it, it's, 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 well, it's clear that they're like, we're going to connect this to everything else because Monarch is here and all these yeah. mentions, whatever. But it's also its own self-contained, nice... Like yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good fucking time. And then you get to King of the Monsters, Right. Uh, King of the Monsters, clearly, I, I know, I already know this by heart, because Mr. Sunday Movies is the reason that I'm fucking obsessed with Godzilla right now, because he's doing the same thing we are, with Caravan of Garbage. I highly blame him. Gotta stop saying that we're copied. Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> 
King of the Monsters only made, I think it was 370 million international on a budget of about 180. So we know it underperformed because people were sick of it. They tried to give us what we wanted, which was just monsters being thrown at each other. Yeah. And every single thing being pulled out. Oh, we're on King of the Monsters now? Yeah. Is that the one you said was the best one? No. Kong's Okay, okay. Sorry. I I think King of the Monsters is the worst one. And it's not that it's bad. It's that it's bad. Uh (laughs) No, it's it's because they they tried they partially gave you what you wanted, but then also dropped the ball in what we didn't. The monster fighting and everything seems really cool, yes. but it also I said it while we were watching it. You that, fucking glaze over, man. The um, you gla- it's it it becomes nonsense. Yeah, there's too much well, going on. Well, no, it's not. It, it feels like there's two separate kind of styles of movie where there's some shots, oh, yeah. and I watch it. I'm like, this feels like a Godzilla movie. Mm. And then there's other times where I see it, and I'm like, oh, this is just a giant American like. CGI monster, monster fight, fight yep. and then there's other ones with the humans mm. down below, and you're just seeing all this, and you're like, "This is a war but film." It's so crazy when and it jumps from scene to scene because you'll go like, "Yeah, they're on the ground, they're like Madison," <gasps> and then it goes, it's fucking and Mothra then coming from like, the. You want some bitch? Mothra's just like this, and she's like coming down, and she goes claws, and then it cuts back to Coach, and he's like, <laughs> Mothra's like. <laughs> they had this really funny panning shot where it's yeah. all of them on the ground and then the monsters in the background, but like everyone's dealing with their own yeah. shit. And then the monsters are back there, and you're like, so you're telling me that this is so important that the monster fight is on hold where Godzilla is literally just yes. in idle pose in the back. Godzilla and they're like, just... we're going to put this on hold. Also, the monsters just chasing them yeah. everywhere they go. Yeah. And like, not even because they were holding the thing, just because they were fighting and happened to just be landing yeah. next to them over and, and over. over you would think, like, okay. Okay, so he's over here. I'm going to keep this certain radius. Yeah. Not even because of the radioactivity and the fact that, like, this is a big deal and it could kill us. Yeah. But just for the sake of being away from the monster's fucking wing. Yeah. But instead, they're like, I'm going to get a little too... You're dead. And the balls to have a <laughs> monster that is pure radiation and not one person yeah. gets cancer. No. It's just fucking it probably stupid. Probably because they all just die too quick. Yeah. You really think Millie Bobby Brown's about to be in that oh, next she is movie? fucked for life. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Okay. Uh, she's got radiation in her bones oh, now. Like she's well, di- it's also Godzilla goes fucking Super Saiyan. It just like explodes with radiation. Drops a fucking nuke on San Diego? Yeah. Right? San Diego? I think it was. San Diego? That's what they mentioned in Monarch. San Francisco? Is that what San Francisco? One of those. One, one of the of sands in California, you know. No, but that... But it's in, gone now, In Monarch, so. they're talking about 2014. We'll get back to that. Okay. When they reference something, they're talking about the first Godzilla. Oh, not the second one. No. Okay. Let's talk about the cast, Brendan. Okay. This is the most... Insane right, if, if, Kong is, if Kong is a stacked cast, Godzilla 2, King of the Monsters, this naming fucking is inconsistent as shit, no, wherever you're looking for it. This cast is Anything hodgepodge, you know? stapled together, taped together. Like, like, they just pull. You got fucking Coach from Friday Night Lights. You got Eleven before Beautiful. she went into, like, superstardom. You got fucking whatever her name is from the Insidious franchise. Yeah. You got Ice Cube's son. Ice Cube's son. You've got fucking Anthony Ramos from Hamilton. This is before he was in Transformers. You got that weird nerdy guy who's just in everything in like AT&T commercials and the shit. What? Weird nerdy guy. I don't know his name. AT- I think he was from like Silicon Valley or something like that. No, like the show, not the location. I have no idea who you're talking about. It's a nerdy guy. He There's was, so many people in this cast Ice and that's Cube, the, the whole, one that you Ice picked. Cube's son the whole time. The old guy? The old- no, the nerd. The, the fucking nerdy dude. The nerd, I have no Just idea. Just Google the cast. I don't want to. Okay. You're like, look at this stat cast. Fuck that guy, though. <laughs> well, because, I'm just talking about the ones that you would notice. Okay, nobody's going to go, notice that, him. that if, guy from the AT&T commercial, I'm he's you, my favorite. Look at the cast, you'll recognize him immediately. Godzilla, King of the Monsters cast. No, not from 1956. <laughs> oh, how can I forget Papa Lannister? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom Middle, Middleditch? What? That's his name? The nerdy guy? Tom Middleditch. Middleditch? That's... Middle ditch you in the middle of the road, am I right? This is the worst podcast we've ever done. <laughs> well, he was in Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, yes, he's the one who's Jonah Hill ate his goldfish. Zombieland Double Tap, I NBA don't... 2K20 as a voice. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I'm just able to pick out these things, and you're like, that was random. Uh, moving on, just... <laughs> Who the fuck cares about the guy whose goldfish got eaten in Wolf of Wall Street? Not me. I was trying to ignore it because I'm going down his IMDb and I'm like, oh, that's a show I recognize. Bob's Burgers. Okay. NPA 2K20. <laughs> okay. King of the Monsters, right? Yes. It's it's a lot of fun. The problem is at certain the points, people. the people fucking suck. Oh, it my God. It doesn't matter. There's so much focus. Right? Some of them really deliver. Like Coach. I don't care what his real name is. His name is Coach. 
Coach is, is acting the shit out of whatever he's given. It's shit, but he, he's there. He's like, we got to stop the monster. I just kept watching it, and I'm just like, he's just giving a fucking pregame speech right now. <laughs> like He's like, we're not going to lose today. We got to save Godzilla. It, but like, it's so it fucking, fucking hard nuke. to watch a nuke monster, giant fucking lizard, and then an alien with three heads and wings that's essentially just a Greek god demon thing. Yep. Is Those are fighting, and he's just like, man, I got to find my daughter. <laughs> it's just like... like I think there's more. One of them's got three heads, and he's like biting the yeah. shit out of Godzilla. Mothra is sitting here and using her stinger to stab fucking G- Ghidorah, the the fire dragon thing. Yes, and this guy's like Madison, Madison. There is Ghidorah. No literally. reason. You know how many little girls died in that city, but because she's Millie Bobby yes. Brown, we got to be like, no, not Millie. I had to say that. No. no, do you know? How f- and then, like, I should say, like, these three, is it Ghidorah with the three heads? I think that's Gorg, Dora, Gorgon. I Gorgon? Don't, I don't know, fucking, just some shit. Like, no, the Gorgons are from Zathura. And uh, Monster <laughs> Godzilla. Ghidorah, yeah, the three Ghidorah, It's okay. Ghidorah, the three headed monster. Uh, oh. <laughs> he's looking for his daughter, and Ghidorah's literally like, I love that it cuts to him, and he's all by himself. And he, he takes a step, and his wings go like this, and then two skyscrapers fall. <laughs> and yet we're supposed to Did go. Did you see the one Madison. scene where a fucking plane, like a fighter jet, crashed into a building at no. like Mach five while they're driving the car, and they pass on the plane? Just, <laughs> and then it just cuts away, and no one bats an eye. <laughs> I love that because in in the middle of the movie, they're like, "Oh my god, we got to get the fighters out of yeah. here, and we have to get this one ship to crash into our ship so we could save them." And at every point. It, c- it cuts to the mom, and the mom's like, I gotta run. And Ghidorah's like, with his tail, is just like hitting a fucking helicopter. It's literally like every scene <laughs> that they chose was in order to make you think, like, what's yes. the fucking point of this story? Mm-hmm. And it's like they were trying to give that as a message, yeah. but at the same time, fully committed to that story. Yeah, I wanna see, just like you were saying last week with The Hobbit, like a supercut for only the shit that matters, I wanna see a, a supercut of King of the Monsters, but you take out every single fucking human. The one thing I will say about that. Except for when Ken Watanabe fucking touches Godzilla, he's like, thank you, friend. And then. A nuclear bomb explodes and he's eradicated forever. It wasn't that heartwarming. <laughs> <laughs> I love how much the series, like I understand, right? Kaijus, yeah. Titans, whatever. Gigantic monsters fighting and knocking down entire cities and leveling them. But I think it's so funny how throughout every single one of these movies, they downplay the fuck out of nuclear bombs. <laughs> They're like, we need 150 pounds of plutonium right now to nuke the fuck out of Godzilla so he wakes up. You know what's funny? No. They just use that size bomb, but without, like, the radiation part of it. Yeah. Just a regular bomb probably would work, but they're like, no, we need a nuke. No, because <laughs> he, he needs the radiation. Yeah, but when they're trying to kill him, they don't... Oh, well, no. that in, in You're talking about Monarch. That's I different. think they also try it in the fucking first Godzilla, too. Probably. Every I time they see it. him, they're like, giant lizard. That's the American nuke. dream, baby. <laughs> But uh, no, uh, so what I wanted to say before was if you wanted to cut out all the people, yes. but the five minute span where it was just the monster fighting, but it had to tell a story, it was fucking weird because you got oh, you mean when they were there when they were like stabbing him through the gut yeah. and then you see these angry eyebrow slants on a moth and you're like, that, that moth is angry. Yeah. And it's just like, no, the worst part is when they bow, when they bow was terrible. And also when Godzilla's standing over him, he's like. Yeah, well, because Godzilla like, looks like a person. Because Godzilla just looks like he hit. He's just a fucking dad. He's just got that dad bod, he, got, and that he, tiny no, head. He's and got he's the dad. Like, he's got the forty year old dad bod, but the dad that goes to the gym. So he's got the stomach, but he's also just like this all the time. Yeah, <laughs> and he's got like stubby arms too. So he's always like, Ugh. and he's just it, you're trying to portray like emotion and almost words without yes. doing it, and it comes off cringy. Mm, it does. It's not good. In Kong, it works because he's a monkey, so and there's monkey more like facial like recognition as yeah. far as like what well, you can do also, with it. Well, it's also we didn't talk about his design when we were talking about Skull Island. No. Uh, Kong was literally like uh, King Kong. Yeah. Jack Black, what is it, 2003? Yeah. Gorilla. Deliberately yeah. based off of a gorilla. Yeah. <clears throat> Kong is bigger. Yeah. And was deliberately designed to be more human like and have more human characteristics in his build. So he's not just like hunched over monkey. He's literally like person but made monkey. Yeah. So like, he can emote a lot more. Yeah, he can. I can't wait. I can't wait for. And he's also the like smaller in that than when he fights Godzilla yeah. because you know he baby, and, yes, uh, baby. and then he His gets to the dead. big one, and then you know he's Godzilla size, so he like yes. quadrupled in size, which means saw him. He literally yes. was a baby. And Godzilla is also gigantic in this fucking movie. Yeah, he's a big fucking lad. Yeah. <laughs> uh what are the little things that I like about this movie? A lot of people hate it, but I like when he has Ghidorah's head in his mouth in the end, and he's like pretending goofy. it's alive. It's it is goofy, but then he like blows the thing and he like eradicates him. Yeah, I'm like that's just that's like teabagging, but monster. So I get it. 
<laughs> it's funny how it works like Dragon Ball, where you yeah. got giant fucking laser, and it's just like, that don't hurt, that don't hurt, but then there's like no cuts, there's no bruises, but then nope. it's either it doesn't hurt at all, or, or you get fucking pasted, and yes. there's no in between, and it's just like, is it damaging anyone? Can we... Can we explain or try to understand how or why it is that Godzilla was able to absorb? Because they talked about it. Like when they nuked him, they were like, it worked a little too well. He's like an atom bomb that's about to go off. And then he had that. And then Mothra gave him like her guts or something. When she died, there was like dust all over him. Yeah. And then Ghidorah's biting him and there's like electricity and he's turning all red. Can we talk about, can we try to explain how the fuck Godzilla learned to control his Super Saiyan abilities? And was able to like charge himself up and then do the blast <laughs> moving out. How did that? Cause I don't understand how it happened. I don't understand how he un- knew how to do it. I think it's just anger. So like he's like he, he fixes his titties and like huh? just like so he's just sitting there. He's like I'm so fucking mad. He's like I'm gonna hit you and he's goes and he goes oh fuck. Can I just I didn't mean and then do, he, like, I want to kill his you titties. myself. <laughs> he's like flexes his titties again. He's like Poof. he's like oh okay and then like that's how he learns. And then he walks up to him. He's walking and he's, he's like, <clears> fucking melting like, every <clears> single <throat> building yeah. that's next to him. Yeah. Just, <laughs> These buildings, fuck them. <laughs> I don't need them. Fuck these skyscrapers. Fuck these people. These hundreds Godzilla, of people that are... Godzilla, you saved us, man. Yeah, I fucking did. <laughs> Stay in your fucking place. <laughs> fucking garbage people. Bitch. We're like, oh, we're so glad you saved us. Like, I'm going to come back and take a shit on your house next week. How big would a Godzilla shit be? I want to know. Yeah. Of course. Who uh, shit's bigger, him or Kong? That's the real movie we need. I think the thing that they've done that's the smartest is... Yep. <laughs> Well, no, I'm going to get worse. I think oh. the, the thing that they, they've understood com- correctly is that they're like, all right, these are like humanoid-esque things. And we cannot have giant penis. We can never, <laughs> that's exactly what it was. There, there's so many shots of like between their legs or like directly <laughs> of like Kong's groin. Yeah. And they deliberately are like, Kong, it, we're it, not going to explain or say anything about their penis. It's no, just not In that there. movie, and you see the silhouette of him in the sun behind yes. you, like see, sitting there and you're just like, that thing would totally be just you're like, swinging in the fucking air. There. It's just <laughs> that can't be a short. There's just a dick there. See a Kong this... helicopter dick someone to death. <laughs> so Godzilla versus Kong, right? That's a dick fight. Yeah, he got There's, the tail. That's he all got it the is. Dick. They're just comparing whose dick is bigger. It's yeah. the whole thing. Uh, I think my favorite thing about Godzilla versus Kong. First of all, uh, I'm gonna guess that. What do you think the budget is? Because I'm gonna say two hundred. I was gonna go way higher than that because I think we talked about this last time. I don't know what movie budgets are, so I was gonna say four or five. 155. I was very wrong. We were both very wrong. As the lowest budget. Really? That's crazy. Because it looks the best. Mm. It looks better than the third one. It looks pretty good. What's the third one? Kong. Uh, Godzilla 2. What are we talking about then? Oh, Kong. You're, you're, we're hopping between what we're describing and then you're going to stats. Well, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to, to deliberately like cut where we are by bringing yeah. up the stats and like deliberately say it. But then we're also going like, all right, so we're talking about Godzilla's cock and balls. So we need to talk about Kong's cock and balls. So we have to jump around we a little We have to jump bit. at those and the cock and balls are only in this film, but not this one because they didn't finish it. No, you know it's crazy. Designing it yet. What? So Godzilla versus Kong came out in 2021. Yeah. As the pandemic was still, not at its height, but it was still going on. Uh, it still made more. Than King of the Monsters. It made 470. I remember being genuinely excited for King of the Monsters. And then they were like, oh, we saw that there's all this stuff. And yeah. yeah. And then they're like, oh, we're going to do um, Godzilla versus King Kong. And I'm like, oh my God, they're going to fucking do it. This is going to be incredible. And then you get. Grow up right now. It's a white Russian. Of course I want some. You can have half. Come back to that. I'm totally vomit. Well, I'll take that one. Oh, oh, it smells like feet. Milky feet. So, <laughs> so Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, let's start right off the bat with the design. I love that they made Kong old man. Yeah. They're like, this is 60 years later. He has a no, he's beard. He's like middle aged. He has a beard. No facial. Right. He's got, yeah, he got a chin strap. It's fucking great. Yeah, and the tra- I love that design. Yeah, I I didn't notice it while I was watching it. Really? Yeah, not at all. I'm like, oh, it's Godzilla. Cool. Like, it's just a fucking monkey. It's been six years since I seen the monkey the last time. Yeah. Like, it's just a monkey. Monkey look different. Yeah. You're like, they made Godzilla look different. I'm like, did but- they? It's a giant fucking lizard. I don't know. Uh- <laughs> well, t- <laughs> when we get to Monarch, I I didn't think it was that drastic. But then we watched like the little clips side by side, and I'm like, wow, they deliberately made Godzilla fucking skinny and have a smaller head. You also saw the fly? 
I don't want that more flashbacks. <laughs> uh, so Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah. You watch this in theaters. Yes, I did. I watched it on HBO Max on my tiny TV in my dad's basement mm-hmm. in 2021. Yeah. Uh, what was your experience like? It was boring. Yeah. The fighting and everything was oh. really cool for the first... Hold on. Hold on. It was really cool for the first, like, 20 minutes it was happening. Yes. And then after that, it was so much intense, giant fucking monster fighting for so long. And they kept trying to up it and up it and up it. And they couldn't successfully do it uh-huh. to where it just kind of became numb. Noise. And it was just, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm like, the monsters are fighting again. Cool. Oh, look, there's our giant robot Godzilla also fighting. Mecha Godzilla is so fucking I cool. I hate his design. <laughs> I think he's they so They tried cool. so hard to make him cool. I yeah. wanted him to look a bit... Campy? Yeah. A Stupid? Little, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And they didn't. They're like, we're going to make him metal as fuck. No metal pun as f- <laughs> He's... Mecha Godzilla he is, is metal. fucking cool. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, human stories in this one. Like, the smallest smidge better, but that's just because when it comes to, like, the villain... I don't they, remember it. Who was it again? I have no idea. That's the point. They just made him campy and forgettable. That's why when he died, it was funny. Can, can you bring it up so we have it's, some It's the idea. leader of, a uh, Power Rangers? Go, go, Boom Rangers! What's his name? Oh, I have no idea. Is he to famous? To be brutally honest with you, I have no idea... I don't even remember what the fuck he looked like. Did you Google the cast? Yes, I have the cast. And you're right looking there. at him right now. Is it Walter Simmons? It might be. It is Walter Simmons. Wal- Walter Simmons is his act is the character he plays. The actor's name. Damien? The cheer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's exactly I tried to tell you forgettable doesn't matter not a great character but I like the fact that they downplayed maybe it wasn't deliberate maybe it was just bad writing <laughs> really fucking bad you're like I like how they made it bad but on purpose they, they they just like they downplayed all of the human aspects there yeah. was less of it there was it gave me exactly what I wanted right they yeah. had Kong Kong was older he was pissed off he didn't want to be in the dome and he leaves the dome for some reason they think it's a good idea to strap him to a boat Oh, yes. Now Bad I remember. Idea. Then Godzilla shows up and they're just beating the fuck out of each other. He tries to drown him. Cool as shit. Yeah. Uh, you get to Antarctica and they're like, monkey, go in the hole. He's like, I don't want to do that. And she's like, but your family's there. And then all of a sudden, right? All of a sudden. Is Sigourney Weaver in this movie? No. I'll, you're thinking of Paul, the alien. <laughs> she just shows up movie. in the randomest fucking places. So I got to ask. Uh they, they just go, they're like, there's a wormhole. We're going to the hollow earth, which is something we haven't even touched on yet, is how drastically this goes from, like, big lizard, he destroyed a city. Oh, my God, the earth is hollow. There's all these monsters. There's more than one. There's actually six or seven. And now we're in the center of the earth because the gravity flips over at a certain point. They go into the earth. Kong walks in and goes, X. Godzilla goes, I'm in China, or not China, Japan, and I'm going to breathe fire all the way down to the center of the earth so Kong can climb out. Miles and miles of ground. And then he goes up. They beat the fuck out of each other for a bit. And then the robot shows up and the little girl goes, help the lizard. And Kong goes, all right, (laughs) fine. And then they kill Mechagodzilla. And Godzilla's like, (laughs) right, I guess so. That's, that's. I mean, if, if you say so, little girl. <laughs> if you tell me that, I don't I understand I language, but they you got ta- a good no, point. They taught him sign language. That's part of the- <laughs> it. He, go- he goes home. Does he really? Yes. It's been a while since I've seen that one. It's such a great movie. They gotta, look, it it would have been so much better if he, like, fucking, like, suplexed Godzilla and then stood over and just, like, and well, just, like, there's a certain off. point. There's a certain point where Godzilla like, beats the fuck out of him. He puts his foot on his chest, and he's just like, "I'm gonna hold you here till you submit." And Kong goes, "All right, you win." And Godzilla's like, "That's right. That's right. That's his move." Godzilla's just like, "Bitch, stay down." <laughs> like he always does that. Well, no, see, he either does that or he takes your head like this and he breathes fire down your throat until your head comes off. Which is really funny because that's also what King Kong does, except he can't breathe fire, so he just does this and then removes the jaw. Um. And yeah, there's a lot of jaw removal on this podcast really the last good. few weeks. <laughs> or she had Omni Man going like this, Kong going like this. Dude, I, when I was editing that ep- that part of the episode where I had to put the clip in, I had to sit there and like try to micro buffer, 
like I can only show up until like the elbow <laughs> hits her, her mouth because then it'll be too explicit to have on YouTube. Yeah. So I have to, <laughs> I have to like buffer it and then it cuts off right as it happens. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah. What do you think? Because I'm, I'm rambling right now. I love this movie a fucking ton and it makes me excited for whatever the new one's going to be. It is the one I remember the least. Why I do I remember it more and I watch it in the basement? Because I saw it once, and then I think that's why I wasn't excited for this new Godzilla stuff, because it killed it oh. for me. Uh, it just, it wasn't, it's like I said, I was really, really <clears throat> excited. It built up, it built up, it built up. I didn't see it going anywhere beyond that. Yeah. And even though we did get more of what we wanted, it wasn't what I expected. Yes. Because you don't have... You, it, How much more can you do? It, it, it's really hard because they don't have words. <clears throat> you can't yeah. just sit there and have them stand on opposite ends and be like, come at me, motherfucker. It has to be like... That, at a <clears throat> certain point, it's, <clears throat> it's like... And then they just... You hit them and then they go back to grunting and then it's hitting and it's just... it's yeah. there, There's no you real You can't really story. add the stakes or anything. Like, I have no idea why the fuck there's beef. He saw it, a monkey just, and he went, I'm going to drown that fucking the, monkey. <laughs> it's the same reason. It's the same reason that they do it in King of the Monsters. It's just whoever's the alpha. They just, he was chained to a boat. He was like, he this was. motherfucker looks tough. Just chained to a boat. I'm going to beat his ass. That's right. And then he's like, hey, and you know what? I'm going to do it in water. You know why? Because that's a fair fight. That's fucking a fair fight. fight. I, I, he wasn't holding his fucking head yes, down. Yes, he was. He was <laughs> Drown, monkey. Drown. That's how you imagine that movie. It's just him going. Stay. Stay. <laughs> See a bunch of bubbles come up. Title card. Kong versus Godzilla. That's it. <laughs> That's the greatest 15 movie movie I've ever seen in my life. I would, I would be so upset, but I would leave that theater laughing so hard. I'd be like, that's perfect. I want to see someone have the balls to do that. Of course not. Lie about the runtime. You get in there and just No, be like, no, no. Make the runtime real. Make it a two and a half hour movie, but make it actually 15 minutes, and then it's just an hour and a half of something. Just over and over again. White noise. Just keep going. Just play the movie. It finishes. Play, play it again, again in another <laughs> language. And just keep going. Play it in slow motion. Redo the whole thing, but make it animated. Like, just keep going. Oh, just have it in different style. Yeah. And, and then just have, like, the last so one be people fun. in rubber outfits, really yeah. shitty, like the old ones. Yeah. And then go even beyond that and just make it two dudes and, like, ones in, like, a bathtub. And, like... <laughs> Stay down, Johnny. <laughs> just just dudes. make it dumber and dumber and see how long people last. And then have, like... Oh, it's a challenge at And this then point. have the secret best one at the actual end. Like, you're like, that was it. And then you get to it and you're like, holy fuck, this is I would love to cool. see the anime one. Yeah. But it's just two dudes wearing, like, weird Godzilla and Kong, like, face helmet Hire things. robot chicken to do one. What? What? Stop motion? Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. So, just have <laughs> Seth Green voicing both of them. <laughs> just... So now then we can move on. <laughs> To Monarch, yeah. Legacy of Monsters. That some reason is trending super high. It's like number four or five wherever I look in yeah. terms of shows. Uh, you're only a couple episodes deep. Couple. I'm like a I'm like one more episode more than you. So it's I'm an episode and a half in. <clears throat> you did show me something beyond where I got because it was the bomb dropping on him. No, that was in the first step. No, no, it wasn't. It was in the episode you were watching. It was in two. Oh, uh, I do not give a fuck about the girl's story and her like family problems and all that shit. The, yeah, me neither. Um, the um World War um. I mean, the scientists, people, and everything in their yeah. story so far seems the 40s really is a, very interesting. interesting. Especially with Kurt Russell. And I feel like they're doing the exact same thing. Is that with I mentioned people? it to you? Well, it's also, I mentioned it to you when we were watching like Godzilla King of the Monsters. Yeah. The obligatory, like, <clears throat> Asian character in every Godzilla film, but they don't have the balls to commit to making them the main character. Mm. But then they have to squeeze them into the story, yes. and it just adds filler. Why not just commit and make them the main character? I don't make know. Important. Yeah. It would work fine. And yeah. it's just like, well, it's a Godzilla movie, so you got to have Japanese people in it. And it's like, okay, what are they doing? They're like, well, there's Japanese people in it. They're standing around yeah. while the white man tries to... <laughs> and saves the day. And then we say, congratulations, giant lizard. Yes, and exactly. they're like, Godzilla saved us. And they're like, well, okay. Just this fucking is... do it. Yeah. Commit to the bit. Episode one. Okay, what are we going to have? Well, we're going to have these scientists go find this giant nest uh, for, like, monsters and shit like yes. that. And then we're going to have John Goodman uh, throw his briefcase into the water because this giant spider's trying to rob him. And, <laughs> and, Give me the fucking <laughs> files, man. Give it to me. And then what are the Asian people doing? Uh, they're, they're hiding in a subway because Godzilla might be coming. And then what? Well, then they go, go out of the subway. Then they leave he the didn't, subway and that's he, it. Then I'm like, what? What? It, that's not a story. That is not the same thing. <laughs> well, John Goodman showing up in the first episode. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, random characters I don't care about who just 
It fucking meandered, dude. Yeah. This is my problem with so many fucking shows right now. Especially don't need streaming. to be shows. Exactly. Make this a movie or make it two movies. Make it a streaming movie. I don't care, but you don't need to sit here and tell me. Every episode is an hour. There's seven, eight, nine, ten episodes. And then 40 fucking minutes out of it, you're just like, what are we going to do? And you know how they would do that? How? Cut out the Asian story. Make it just the World uh, the, the World War II story. Or, the or And you have it condensed to exactly. where it could be that then. And then I haven't watched all of it I yet. I don't but a likable character. But I'm assuming there's me- meandering going on in that story too. I just haven't gotten to it yet. The what? Where? Uh, with the uh, scientist story and everything. Yeah. I also of haven't gotten to Kurt there. Russell yet, but I'm seeing his kid and everything. I've seen that shot he online episode. where it where just fades from one it, to the and, other. It, it, so beautiful. Good. Yes. Beautiful. The two of them, I don't, have we done this before? Uh, the collective we. Have we done this where like two, <laughs> like the father and son play the same character? Yeah. I have nothing to back that up. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's not a new idea, so I'm sure it's happened yeah, before. Yeah, it's definitely, really like, know. it sounds very familiar, but <laughs> it like, it sounds I, easy. It sounds like the go to thing. I don't understand why this is the first fucking time I've ever heard of it. You know what's crazy? They could have did that in Guardians too because he was the right age, but they didn't. And then they made him oh bad God, Captain America. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's Wyatt Russell? Yeah. You're right, it is. Yeah. Everybody's in the MCU, man. Yeah. I'm tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the things that I like about Monarch, right? Uh, all the 1940s stuff, perfect. I love it. I love the dynamic that the three of them have. I love the shit Two. that they're doing. What? No, she didn't. First episode, she falls into a pit full of uh, books. Yeah, but then we're looking at like... And then you go back like five years and they're like, look, she's not dead. I'm like, yeah. that's not how time works. <laughs> I don't care that she's dead. The three of them have great fucking chemistry together. The dude's from Workaholics best... and he's just playing a yes. serious character and it's really I weird. Love it. I keep, I... The thing that I love, my favorite part about this, and I've showed it to Timmy, I showed it to you, I watched it a bunch of times. It has nothing to do with the fucking story. It's the fact that in the second episode, <laughs> they go to the beach. They're like, we need 150 pounds of plutonium. First of all, Wild. 150 pounds of plutonium so we can attract whatever the fuck is looking for this radiation. They're like, all right, we're the U.S. government. Of course we'll do that with no strings attached. Then they do it. And then they walk onto the beach and the three of them go, that's a bomb. (laughs) The general goes, we're going to blow it the fuck up. He goes, why would you do that? Because America. Then Godzilla comes and homie is skinny. His face is small because he's a young dude. He walks up to the bomb and the one shot of Godzilla is just him going... Mm. And then they blow him he, the fuck up. In his face. And I know it's the radiation like <laughs> heals him or whatever, but he still took a bomb to the he's face. He's still like, he's like, this food he is... He could have literally went and just nommed it. And like, and it just, just nommed it. And it, he like, he should be missing his jaw. <laughs> like, I don't know. For, and then on top of that, you haven't gotten to this Just part. use a so regular so bomb. Sorry. Why do they have Why to be radiation bomb? Yeah, just, just use a else. bomb. A grenade. Or better yet, a really big truck. <laughs> <laughs> you understand how big Godzilla is? You understand I that? said a really big oh, truck. <laughs> like, bigger than skyscrapers? <laughs> like, yeah. Someone call up Optimus. You gotta know someone. <laughs> Ultra Magnus. You don't get can, that. Can we get that? What? Transformers versus, versus Godzilla? Godzilla? How much do you want to bet it exists? It already? totally exists in like comics or cartoons or something. That would be so legit. <laughs> Does not exist. Okay, let's get on it. All, all We're about to make millions. Who would win? Optimus Prime versus Godzilla? No, no, no. It can't just be Optimus. It has to be like that planet. All of one. the Transformers? Yeah. Oh. Unicron versus Godzilla? Well, Unicron is the size of, like, four planets, so that's a pretty easy one. Is there, like, a Unicron Jr.? What is his name? There's a big one, yes. There's a... The, the Transformers big. So that means Godzilla size, yes. They exist. There you, there you Omega go. Supreme. There's his name. There you go. He, he's Omega like... Omega Shenron versus Godzilla. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> this exists already. This has got to be an entire subsection of the internet that's just like, who would win, Goku or Godzilla? Omega Supreme Godzilla. Omega Shenron Godzilla. Fuck that. Just throw in Piccolo. Orange Piccolo versus Godzilla. Oh, when he's really big? Yeah. Cell Max versus Godzilla. Eat that fucking character. Yeah, it's a bad character. Really bad I, I want to watch that movie. I haven't watched that movie yet. It, it, you're not missing much. I'm sure I'm not. People I'm are sure like, it fucking sucks. It, it, it's cares? so unearned. <laughs> it's so completely unearned. They're like Goku, Vegeta fighting and training with Beerus and um, Whis. And Gohan's just like, that my daughter? I'm going to invent a new form right fucking now. 
<laughs> it the should, manga's about to catch up to it, so apparently it just did. I just saw pictures of it. Did you really? Yeah. It, they said that there's a change. They said that this is that, like one of the writers is quote, the thing that happens in chapter 100 of Dragon Ball Super will affect the future of Dragon Ball or like some kind of big thing like that. So they're getting up to it, and in the, whatever chapter is about to come out or has come out is like about his new form. Yeah, and they're going to change something, and I really hope that they give him a different form. I hope they do something different. Give him Super Saiyan 4. Give him no, something. No, he's got the, it's, it's the same. Stop. I just saw a drawing of it. Stop it. Stop. Don't let me hope. Your hope nope. is dead. Um, so back, back to, to Godzilla. What we're about. Um, the, the Monarch. Um, I have two problems with it. Okay, go And ahead. one of them is too the thing people. that you love. Godzilla? Godzilla being young. Because it's 50 years it. ago. I know. Fucking it doesn't dude make any thousands sense. of years yeah, it old. It doesn't make like, any but sense. But he's like 50. He's like a baby, man. It's like he's a thousand. He's is just he a like, little teenager is right he here, man. He's fucking baby Yoda where he doesn't age for 90 years and all of a sudden he's going to be an adult because that's what's going to happen. Um, Can you imagine that? Imagine that's how aging worked. Yeah. After a certain amount of time, you just went, just, I'm a baby. Want to grab a beer? <laughs> like, no, I don't mean that significant. <laughs> I mean, like, you're like this tall, and all of a sudden you go from baby to like, I'm 12 years old now. You just I have sentience. What? <laughs> Godzilla being young. I completely agree. Then I'll I think it's fucking hilarious. But it looks cool. I'll give you that. It does. But it doesn't make sense. The other thing yes. is he looks phenomenal, but mm. the other special effects Ass. look like they belong on a TV show, which is something when you're making it, it is a TV show. It is a TV show. Thank you. Okay. But if you're going to make something like that and have him be the movie quality, yeah. make your other special effects be You have to quality. have everything hold up together. Yeah. I think, right, if we're talking about production, yeah. some of the CG, pretty spotty. Some of the, the monsters that they're it's like the inventing water. for the show. The water? When he stood out of the water on that beach, yes. it fell off of him. I'm like, that looks like a simulation. That does yes. not look That's like... That's not like real water. No. Not at all. I think the a lot of the shots... Right, Godzilla King of the Monsters has this really weird thing where... It'll be like monsters crashing into each other and then like a weird biblical shot of Godzilla falling down from the sky. <laughs> this isn't not like that high quality, but this definitely has some shots where I'm like, man, that's great. Look at this beach with all these people. This is fucking good. The colors, amazing. It, everything feels so nice and seamless. And I, I love the way that they jump between time periods because never once was I confused yeah. or wondering what's going on because they sometimes they go... 1942, whatever. Yeah. 24. Like sometimes they'll show you, but sometimes they're like, Wyatt Russell. Oh, it's the girl. She's back. In oh my God. Wyatt Russell's freaking out with his girlfriend. I'm never confused once. And it's so easy to have these storylines that jump between each other between time for me to go, man, what the fuck? I'm going to stop watching. You never do that. You never get confused by a show that you try to start. No, never. No, All right, well, we're not the same. <laughs> I'm so easy to hop on a show and be like, no, I'm 10 minutes in. You're jumping too much. I'm done. The only time I had that problem with it was the new Lord of the Rings TV show uh, um, because they're jumping around and it's all in the same timeline, just different locations, but yeah. none of them seem like they uh, intertwine they the at all. Like So like the best example I have of that is like Game of Thrones. Like There's all yeah. these storylines, but you know they intertwine. Oh, yeah, because the, the colors are all different. That, they, um, like when they start the show, like I, I gave up on it, but mm. like when it starts, they're just different stories and you have no idea how they intertwine, but you've got to tease that a little bit to you get gave up to... on that show. Yeah. You didn't finish it. No, I got halfway through the first season. Oh, it's fucking bad. It's really bad. Oh, it's fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring and drawn out and nothing happens. And... How did you not tell me this last week when we had an episode dedicated to Lord of the Rings? Because that's how much I hated it. I block it out of my mind. Wow. It's fucking awful. Okay. They changed right. the story. I, I mentioned because like it's also they changed the canon completely mm -hmm. because they didn't own the rights, which I mentioned on the last yes, episode. Yes, 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 so yes. I'm watching. I'm like, oh, I, I can't wait till this happens. And they're like, no, this happens. I'm like, what? fuck out. Why did you do this? To me? You're what? telling me this is the same, but then you tell me that the Dorito Dwarf, Dwarf Princess is like the, the fucking like same as the other things. And it don't add up. She wears like a, a dress. The Dwarf Princess uh, yeah. wears a dress that looks like it's made of Doritos. Very tasty looking, but not functional. <laughs> A monarch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real. First, it was Dragon Ball. Now it's Lord of the Rings again. Uh, <laughs> monarch. I'm going to commit to watching the whole show. Yeah, so I'm so tired of the weekly fucking releases, but I'm here. For, 
I'm here for the long haul. So, um, one thing I'm excited about for that is, um, as far as shows go, is I'm really yeah. excited for Reacher season two. No, we're not there yet. Oh, just we're, real quick, we're talking it's, about it's, Godzilla. it's about release dates. Okay. I'm not going to go into that or whatever, but it comes out later this month, and they're releasing the first three episodes at once, and then weekly after that, so you get enough to get started and into it, so you're not watching a pilot where they're setting it up, and then you're like, yeah. I gotta wait till next week. Well, to see find the problem: out. a lot of shows fall victim to that, but then they'll also rectify it. Yeah. Just like what what you're saying. Yeah. I think. Weekly releases in general for me. There's really no middle ground because you can get a new show and you can binge it all in one sitting. I love that. It's so much better. And then you're you're there, but then you're also so hungry for more. So like yeah. the last show that I watched and binged was Sabrina. So that brings me to my years ago. And like I'd sit there and you so sit good. down there like eight episodes or they'll do parts. It'll be like four episodes. You sit there, you watch all of them in one day. Yeah. And then you're like, all right. Now what? Uh, do I watch sad. it again? <laughs> Yes, literally. <laughs> and then you go back to the beginning, you're like, I can watch the whole series again. Well, Who cares? You, well, you, that's what you I usually do. In. When I know the new show's coming out the week beforehand, I watch the, the rest right? of the show. hundred percent. So you get, that's the fucking way to do it. Yeah. And it's so, great. So you know yes. all the Easter eggs, you know everything about you, it. But that, you're not that, that brings whatsoever. me back to my second point about yeah. it, which yeah. I noticed as well. No. The new show has eight episodes. It's essentially a cop drama with minimal to no special effects mm. in a very low budget environment. Why do you need eight why episodes? Why do you only have eight episodes? Why can't it be 15? Yeah, why, why can't Well, but it's also a, a weekly release, right? Yeah. The longer the season is, the more opportunity there is for drop off. Can you imagine being a showrunner and you're like, all right, 15 weeks I need to survive? Or you could do eight. You're like, all right, so I got like months of stress. But it's based off of books. There's actual source content. It, it's not about the source content, it's, it's about the viewership. But if the say, viewers drop off, then you're like, oh, fuck, what am I supposed to do? But it'll drop off if it's not compelling, like these Disney yeah. shows and everything where uh -huh. you got the filler, but that oh, has yeah. an actual storyline written already. Disney has fallen off so bad this year. I'm seeing all these articles. We didn't even fuck, fucking see Wish. Bob Iger, man. Bob Iger is fucking angry. There, He's like, Marvel, Marvel Studios is bombing because there's not enough not, executives on are set. Are you fucking are kidding you me? Are your goddamn mind? You better fire those. Who Bob Iger, fire yourself. Who brought him back? Brendan, Brendan, Brendan. If you were Disney, right, in that situation, yeah. and like in the mid in the midst of the downwind of COVID, Disney Plus, the MCU is falling to shit. What do you a leave the guy that's in charge? B fire the guy in charge and find somebody brand new who's never done this before in this scope? Or C do the guy that was kind of present for making it work in the first place? Here's what I have to say about that: fire him. How long was that guy in charge? Bob Chapek? Yeah. Like two or three years? Two or three years. How long does it take to make a movie? Two or three years. So who started that process? Bob, Bob Iger. Iger. <laughs> and then they fired the other guy and went, this is your fucking fault. Bob, so come funny. back. <laughs> and then they're just like, Bob, man, what's going on? He's like, it's the fucking executives. We need more. Do you, do you <laughs> see the change? In emotion and rage in the two of us <laughs> yeah. between us going, man, God, this is so much fun. I fuck really, Disney. Fuck Bob Iger <laughs> and everything he's doing. First of all, I don't want to fuck Bob Iger. All right, first right there. <laughs> Number two, uh, <laughs> Bob, I will gladly come on if you give me a couple million dollars. Come on him? <laughs> no, come on. Hold on, just, just stop. Bob, man, for a couple <laughs> million, my way, I'll come right on you. <laughs> <laughs> we can. Like, who's watching? We're like an we have 30 views per episode, and I guarantee Bob's not one of them. <laughs> Godzilla, horrible fucking title. Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. Do you know who the villain is of this new movie? Batman? Second monkey. Wait, was that not Kong in that photo? No. So, where's Kong and Godzilla going to team up to beat a monkey up instead of a robot this time? Yes. I feel like that's an easy win. <laughs> You've just beaten up a piece of metal before, and you're like, man, we did it, and now you're beating up an old fucking Millie monkey. Bobby Brown is back in this new movie. Oh, you were saying that that was the name of the monkey. Millie Bobby Monkey. <laughs> Who's a good monkey? <laughs> Millie Bobby Monkey. <laughs> Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. Uh, still no real trailer yet. We got a bunch of posters and screenshots. All the screenshots have just been fucking Godzilla and noise around him, or got King Kong and fucking CG noise around him. We saw the villain monkey. Yes, it's an orangutan. It's a gigantic humanoid orangutan. God damn it. Second monkey. Yeah. There. <laughs> oh, arm wrestle? No. Damn. No, it's going to be exactly what the last one was, which is just the two of them are there. They find the monkey. Beat up the monkey a little bit. Everybody walks away. I better see some like acrobatic shit between these two monkeys. And they get back together. Everybody fights. They beat up the monkey. Oh, that's what I wanted to walk say. Away. That's, um, that, they come that's back in the end. Godzilla looks at the monkey. He goes like this. 
It goes like this. Credits. Go ahead. They're too big to fight, so they move too slow. So that's why the fights get a little drawn out and boring, because he's just like, boom, hail swap, whatever. And like we're used to things like boom, Dragon Ball boom, and boom, superheroes boom, are like, bang, 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 yeah, that, that is a really cool sound. Though. It is such a good fucking um, sound. But, like, that that's what it is. And they can't make it quicker because it, it is accurate that they're moving yes. that slow because they're fucking They huge. can't fucking, like... Can you imagine how fucking just... <laughs> I'm Godzilla, man. Come on. I'm going to be really... Right, so having, like, weird... Not weird. Having Dragon Ball imagery in a movie like Creed 3 is really cool. Having it in Godzilla would be fucking legendary. It would... <laughs> I was going to say it wouldn't make any fucking sense. If you show me these two monkeys and they're punching like this and they're both like, oh, fuck. I want to see some wild shit. I want to see a really big fat fucking that lizard. goes to kick the shit out of him. Fucking RKO. I want to see a fat lizard King put Kong his hand on Godzilla's head and be like, I unlocked your potential. And like, <laughs> I, They go to find the biggest monkey. Yeah. Godzilla and, he, and Kong go on an adventure and, and find then he the finds the Dragon monkey. Balls and he goes, that's a fucking... You want to fight, man? Like, I'll take you up. I can fight a fucking dragon. No, I'm here to grant you a wish. I wish to fuck you up. But Let's see, go. Now, the question is, where do they go from here? Can you, you could do that. Pay attention. You could do that, though. Pay attention. I wish to Come kill back you. Down. Kill yourself. That would work. So, where do they go from here? Because in the first one, again, like I'm, I said before. I'm telling you where you go. In the, <laughs> you're talking about Shenron, okay? It's not yeah, the same. It, it'll in happen. the first one, Godzilla shows up, and it's like, oh, my God, he's destroying the city. And then he's fighting a couple couple titans. In, in Godzilla 2, every monster shows up. Every monster's fighting. He kills a bunch of them. And then they're all like, we serve you, our lord. <laughs> Godzilla versus Kong. They go, look, they're fighting. And at the same time, Mecha Godzilla. There's three bridges you've already crossed you can't really do. What the fuck do you do in another one? Okay, so I got it. I got it right now. I know. If it. you say Shenron, that, I hit stop recording. I almost said Google. Godzilla <laughs> shows up with a fucking squad behind him. And he's like, we the monsters, man, and I'm the king of them. And then King Kong shows up, and he's like, I'm ready for a fucking rematch, guy. And I brought my uncle, and he's here to fuck you up, Godzilla. Why are you looking at me like that? Did that happen already? No, because the first thing you said is Godzilla shows up. This is my Brendan impression. <clears throat> Godzilla shows up, right? He walks in. He got a fucking squad behind him. What's up, guy? I'm here for a rematch. Even though I fucking won the last time, I want to kick your ass again. Kong shows up. He's like, I got my fucking uncle with me. Look at me. I'm Brendan. <laughs> Sounds like a great movie. <laughs> I fucking hate you sometimes. You're telling me that wouldn't... It would be so cool. Okay, then shut the fuck it's up. Just Godzilla can't show up and be like, I got the squad with me. Godzilla has to show up like this. No, no, no. no. It's Godzilla doing his thing, you know, like doing a backstroke and like he's fucking in the water. He's just enjoying his day. Brooding. And then brooding and just like, you know, just wearing sunglasses, sunscreen on the nose. And he, Oh, Kong shows up. He's like, I brought my uncle with yeah, me. Yeah, and he, Kong's just like, yo, man, you ready for round two? And Godzilla's like... I guess so. It's like I kick your ass. Once I can fucking uh, let's do it fucking again. go, man. Uh, boom, hold on, boom, I gotta boom, take boom, my sunglasses boom, off. Boom, 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 and he's just like, let's go. And then he's just like, oh wait, no, you're not fighting me. You're fighting my new, my my new daddy. And uh, and daddy rolls up, just like, yo, daddy, <laughs> daddy, do the roar. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's just like, oh, so you want to play family rules? Okay. Uh, and then everybody crawls out from the fucking woodwork yeah. and just like. You ready to go? Because I really, so you really want to see that mammoth the fucking fight is, someone. The problem here is, is that what you're saying makes sense, right? A bunch of Godzillas and a bunch of Kongs fighting each other Civil in a war. war. Yes. <laughs> that makes sense. The problem is they've done this already. They've done the whole 20 monsters, well, not 20, but like a bunch of monsters fighting each other in the middle of a city that they're going to destroy. You can't raise the stakes just by adding more. Yes, you can. can. You 100% can. And I'm joking about the Civil becomes War more thing, noise. but literally make it the Civil War thing. The poster is Godzilla going... And Kong with his fist in the beam coming at it and like, see, see, you're excited. <laughs> you're erect right now. You're ready. And <laughs> why are you moving so much? What I have you doing? an energy drink in my hand and I've been drinking alcohol. I have so much fucking energy. <laughs> Continue. Tell me more about your movie. So that's the poster and everything, and then you literally have the Civil War scene where they sprint at each other, but they're fucking monsters, so instead of sprinting, it's boom, 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 and then you just fucking see this clash, and obviously, there's gonna be some surprise monsters on King Kong's side, because they can't win it on their own, there's not enough on their team. So who shows up? The Statue of Liberty? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any monsters. I zoned out, <laughs> deliberately, because I didn't want to hear this, and I came back at, who shows up? The Statue of Liberty? I don't know. I'm just trying to see, like... 
the worst part is I'm no worse than the writers they currently have writing these. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of... You know what's going to be wild? Monsterverse, there it is. If this movie comes out and it's exactly how we describe Statue of Liberty and all, um, can we sue them? <laughs> this is a Skull Island TV show. The Netflix animated show. That makes sense. Doesn't count. <laughs> So, Godzilla X Kong could be the final movie that we see. There's nothing slated or in development right now past Monarch and uh, Godzilla X Kong. I'm deliberately trying to be lower right now to like bring you back in. No. Nah. Is if I hear another story about the fucking Statue of Liberty showing up to fight Godzilla and King Kong. Or some AKs from under a fucking dress. <laughs> you ever like see, that? You ever see um, No Man's Sky? The video game? Nope, that's not the name then. Iron Sky. Nope. Okay, so... No, I don't want to hear it. So please, no. <laughs> Godzilla it's X good Kong. Content. I don't care. It's not. <laughs> Hitler rides a dinosaur. Now you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> so this could be the last one, right? Because you've had underperformer after underperformer. <laughs> but then somehow at the same time, we have all these other random Godzilla movies that I want to see. Where all of them, every single time I hear about one of these movies coming out, it's either a sequel being like, "Oh my God, look, they fought, and you're gonna do it again," like this one, or they're like, "We're basically gonna remake." Some of the ones from the 50s, man, and you're going to love it. It's a dude in a suit, but the CG is super cool, and it's not in English. Yeah. Good luck. We're going to see that shit tomorrow. We do another double feature. What's the double feature? Napoleon and Godzilla, just complete polar fucking opposites. I hate. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. No, I did no, see I a review for Napoleon saying someone thought that it was like it wasn't what they expected. I would rather watch movies that we need to for the podcast for like new and trending stuff, like Finding Dory, like minus one, uh, dream Nicolas Cage movie. Yeah, I'm really excited for that one. Exactly. Like I'd rather if, if we're gonna do a double feature, I'd rather sit down and do those. Yeah. Is that one actually out? Yeah, you could have seen it on Thursday, but then my job screwed me over. Yeah. Get with the program. And go. Okay. So first up, we got, I forget what these and are. And time. You <laughs> failed because you took too fucking long to get into okay. the set. The boy, season four. Uh, don't care, but I'm going to have to watch it. Trailer, Is there a release it date? Uh, I think it's later this month. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> um, trailer doesn't show off too much. Homelander's still completely fucking unhinged. Yeah, um, that's what he does. Uh, don't have much more beyond that. Definitely going to be some weird sex shit as well. Always. Based on the trailer. That's just, the kind of stuff that I love to watch, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fallout. Fallout. I'm so nervous for this Actually, show. Actually, looks kind of good. I, am I don't give a shit about some Fallout. Of the, some of the armor, like the power armor, yeah. it the way it moves, it looks real, but at the same time, it looks CG, so I don't know if they touched it up. I'm sure it's uh, touch us. I'm sure there's no way that they can go... It's a double-edged sword. There's no way they can go full CG because they're like, no, we know that we need this, but there's no way an executive yeah. won't be like, nah, it's got to be a bit smoother. Yeah. Um, dog meat, isn't it? Uh, eating a fucking man. <laughs> um, the main character is um, a woman who's just like, <laughs> looks like she just wants to go out and she's like, I want to go see what the fuck's going on and everything. Yeah. And everyone's like, don't leave the vault. It's deadly out there. Mm -hmm. And she gets out and it looks like it's LA, I think. Oh. Um, there's a ghoul in it who looks pretty solid. I wish he looked a bit more decrepit. He has a hat. Yeah. He's missing the nose. The nose looks great, but I just, he great, doesn't yeah. look he doesn't look burned enough. I've seen a bunch of the screenshots, but yeah. I haven't watched the trailer yet. The tra you're, it's the same thing. When does it come out? I don't remember. You need to have the answers for this, man. And Google it. I don't remember. I just watched the visuals for it. Um, and then... Um, so Is that it, also Amazon? Yeah. So, like, it's made by the people who made the boys. Um, did whatever. Hold on. April 2024. So I have to go. Okay. I got to see what the other one is because there was one more trailer that came out. You're today. right. Um, the boys. The boys. All I out. Oklahoma. Walt Halo, Walt Halo season two just got a trailer. Ah, <laughs> uh, why are we still doing this? Um, There's a second season? Yep. Uh, the anime version of the Suicide Squad movie is... That looks so fucking cool. That just got a new trailer. Uh, Peacemaker's in it. Um, is it voiced by John Cena? 
I didn't in watch Japanese. I didn't watch the trailer, but according to James Gunn, all animation, video games, and everything going forward is going to be intertwined. So it should be. But that's I not. I really want to see John Cena struggle to speak Japanese, though. Like that would be great. Uh, oh, and House of the Dragon season two. Yes, we have to watch season one. Actually, looks really good. The posters. I look forgot great. <laughs> how the trailer did exactly what I needed a trailer to do. Yeah. I have no idea what the fuck's happening, yeah. but it reminded me how much I love season one because it's been so long. I forgot about it, and then I saw all these characters and all the shit. I'm like, oh yeah, that happened. Let's go. Like I, I'm ready for more. Like it, it's. Is there incest? Game of Thrones. It's There's in the so fucking much. title, man. There's so fucking much. Brother, sister? There's girls like 13 fucking her uncle, and then they get, like, she divorces this gay guy who's her husband, and then they get married, and then he's just, like, divorcing his wife. So now she's fucking her uncle because the Targaryens, you know, they got to have that pure bloodline, which makes them fucking crazy and everything. And the do- uncle is Doctor Who. Um, but it ended there. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say, like, spoiler alert, but that was so much. Now it's one episode. <laughs> You're in for a ride, bitch. <laughs> uh, House of the Dragon. Great. Yeah. I can't wait to watch that, and I'm sure it'll inspire us to watch Game of Thrones again. Yeah. Uh, hey, Fallout. Uh, great. Here for it. April. Yeah. Wish it was closer. What? I wish it was closer. Agreed. Uh, the Boys. I've heard a lot of good things. I couldn't get through the first couple episodes, but I will grind it out because I'm sure we need to for the podcast. Halo. Why the fuck does it exist? We will not be watching that. We will not be watching that. <laughs> I remember when it first came out, Paramount was like, we're going to give a free episode on t- uh, Apple TV. Not even Plus. Just like a free thing for people to watch. Yeah. Couldn't fucking get through it. No. Master Chief's suit looks great. Yeah. The story and everything outside of Master Chief just stabbing people is atrocious. Yeah. Um, mm. I remember seeing the reviews before I got a chance to watch it. I was really excited for it. And then yeah. I saw it. And I'm like, oh, this is... How, how deep did you get? In the show? Yeah. Oh, I didn't watch it. Um, I I was getting there. <laughs> oh, okay. People were just like, oh, it's terrible. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to watch it. And then I was talking to this one guy, and he was like, nah, man, like people are just upset because it doesn't do this and this and this. But mm-hmm. like, if you really pay attention to the Lord, it's a great show. I'm like, maybe I'll give it a shot. There's and then so I saw one clip, Lord. and I went, fuck that. Okay. Is it when he takes off his helmet? Happens. <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> No, with yes. the ending scene when he's fighting a whole bunch of arp not the arbiters, uh what's the what's the what's the race? Covenant? Yeah, yeah. A bunch of elites. Uh, and um he's just like fighting them and it looks like he's on like a sound stage in a PS2 game and it's just like Yeah. Clusterfuck. Yeah, um Paramount Plus. I remember there there was a movie that was uh, a Halo movie that was just on TV that I saw like five, six years ago. Oh yeah, that had a uh, with Locke in it right before Halo Five. Is that what it was? It, it was might have been. It there was, was a bunch of Halo. It, movies. it was about like ODST people and like. Oh, um, I have no idea. And like they, but they were in boot camp, and um, Master Chief shows up to like save them because the Covenant shows up. That's the easy one. Was it Forward Unto Dawn? Yes, that came out in like 2018, I think. Is that new. Yeah, and then there's Nightfall. That one has Lock in it. Okay. Halo Legends. Talk about the downfall of Halo. An animated film. I could talk about Halo, like, very little. <laughs> very little. I, I love... I remember when Black Ops 2 came out, right? Because Black Ops 2 and Halo 4 came out on the same day. What and a I, fucking I, year. Yes. <laughs> I remember being on, like, the Halo 4 side. And my mom got that for me before Black Ops 2. I was like, man, Halo 4 is the game. Fuck yeah. you, Call of Duty people and all this. Oh, Halo 4 was the that shit. was... No. Because Black Ops 2 went down as, like, the greatest Call of Duty ever. So I was on the but wrong But that's side what it was. Fence. I bought an Xbox that year. Yeah. I tricked my dad into getting me an Xbox because I bought Halo for Xbox and I told my dad, I, went, I thought this was, you could play it on any console, but it's only for Xbox and I just spent 60 bucks on this and then Christmas I got an Xbox. Um, w. And so I finessed my way into that one and I Finesse. also, you know what the funniest part, I pre-ordered that shit. Uh, didn't even stumble in, I'm like, dad, we gotta go pick up this game, I pre-ordered so I can get this skin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pre-orders need to make a fucking comeback and they need to be worth it. No. Uh, midnight releases need to make a comeback. The more that we get rid of physical media, the more it sucks for everybody because now no. I keep seeing these meat. <laughs> what? No. Have you never been to a midnight release? That shit's like I either went to a midnight or hype. release for the Project Scorpio version of the Xbox. I was there. And that's the only one I And went- that was hype as shit. And it was fun as fuck. Yeah. But we were at a Microsoft store. We were. I'm not standing at line in line at the fucking corpse of a shell, shell of yeah. a corpse or whatever, of, of GameStop, yeah. in our mall, and just watch the same fucking sad dude yeah. just be like, Call of Duty. Here's your Call of Duty. Nah, see, <laughs> when I went, I was, uh, this was high school, 
I went for the Black Ops 3 Midnight release, and that was fun. Uh, they tried to give us free stuff. It was mostly standing around. Yeah. And then we did a push-up competition that I lost horribly. And then I got to go home, and I was too tired to play my game. You know when you're going to a concert, and you're standing outside, and you're waiting to go in? Yeah. It's the same feeling, except when you go in, you leave in five minutes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, it is. Thank you for that. The Project Scorpio one was cool. I thought it was weird, too, because they were like, here's your Xbox. Do you want to sit here and plug in your old one so that way you can transfer all your stuff? Mm-hmm. And everyone was like, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, plug it? Was I supposed to bring my old Xbox and lug around a case the whole fucking night? No. Just go bring it home. <laughs> but that was funny. I love having games re-downloaded yeah. and staying up till midnight and not going, oh, boy, I can't wait to bring this home. I go, is it midnight? Start, 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 yeah. start. Game's not ready yet. Start, 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 Come start. Come on, motherfucker. And I'm like, here we go. And that shit yeah. gets me hype. Yeah. The only thing I miss is being so fucking excited and reading the back of the box on the way home. Yeah. That's the only thing I 100%. miss. I fucking love physical media, man. I love it so much. I miss deluxe versions of consoles or not of uh, games. Yeah. But now they hold no weight. No. Now they'll be like, here's a deluxe version of Starfield. Comes with a little smartwatch and a steel book. There's no disc inside. But it's cool. <laughs> There's no disc. <laughs> and you're like, what? And then in the box, they're like, here's a little, here's a code that you can scan in to download your game. It says, like, watch tell time. Yeah, but it ha- it's covered in lead paint. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks. Thanks, Bethesda. <laughs> Starfield. Not actually covered in lead paint. When was the last time paint? you played Starfield? It's been a while. Yeah. Um, I stopped. So I fell off so fucking hard. One quick note about that. It yeah. was the first game game that I played in the wild that gave me a similar feeling to Skyrim mm. where I'm like this genuinely feels like a Bethesda game to me mm. but mm. because like the loading screens and the way that like it was, it everything was separated was long, I just didn't man. finish it yeah, and it's, no. it's not that it was a bad game I just I stopped caring yeah it's too you just, have to be so fucking balls deep into it to understand what's going on yeah and I I don't give a fuck I don't care and enough. I'm also like so like I was also playing things like Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Gate yeah uh, when it came out so I took time off but that was also such an in-depth story where all these choices <laughs> mattered <laughs> and I kept going back and forth to that game being like oh man do I join this covenant or this covenant and um <laughs> what and am I gonna do and I'm like oh wait this is Bethesda <clears throat> this choice means nothing <laughs> <laughs> I can do whatever it is that I want and like I'm like I gotta do side quests so I level up so I'm ready for the main man, quest and like you, none of it matters it's gaming hollow. is so good this year yeah but the games that I like suck yeah shooters basically don't exist Modern Warfare 3 is ass. The zombies I've heard is ass. Halo Infinite has fallen off a cliff. We gotta play that new game that's like $10. Battlefield 2042 is ass. Oh, the, the whatever. The strange whatever. I don't know, man. Everybody's playing the, like, it. like astronaut and like horror. Yeah, yes. I gotta play that game. I wanna play that game. Why not? Because you know it's a lot more fun than that? Mm. Overwatch. <laughs> is it though? I've said this before on this podcast and I'll say it again. I'm bad at it. There's too much of it. There's far too much going on. And now it looks like a sandbox playground. But Fortnite is the shit. It runs smooth as butter. Graphically, it's great. They're about to reinvent the fucking movement system with this new season coming out. I hate how much Fortnite I'm about to play. I need to get back on that. It's so good. I then have to like more than likely talk to people that I have not talked to in a very long time. Yeah. And I don't want to do that. You will. Eventually. (laughs) We'll see it's, how that goes. I hate how much fun I fucking have with Fortnite. After we just sat through that Eminem event, that sucked. I spent $30 on skins. You're the problem. I'm the problem. I. Me. No, she's the fucking problem. Fucking hate Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. <laughs> you, you, hold on. I, I, this is not our demographic at all, but I just want to throw this you out there. You're talking about Taylor Swift? Yeah. <laughs> uh, um... My cousin is a diehard fucking Swifty. Yeah. And I was at Thanksgiving, and I'm like, what are you going to do when she breaks up with him? And then she makes a whole other oh. album. How many more guys does she need to break up with before you realize she's the problem? Uh, and it's her fault, and she's the toxic one. And then two days went by, and all over the news, they're like, her boyfriend just said this. She should leave him. He should be canceled. And I'm like, you guys are fucking monsters. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, you were... It's, hungry it's, monsters. This is, you know what's crazy? Because I hate to make this comparison because I really don't, I don't know enough about her to say if it's justified or not. Yeah. But the amount of presence, sales, and streams, and control she has she over. She got girls in the football. She is literally the modern day Michael Jackson. And I fucking hate it. 
She is every she is putting out albums for the second time. Yep. Given, I understand, right? She's re-recording them. It's because of, of label things. She's putting out extra shit with them. I get it. You know, it's a whole thing. You're like, oh my God, I remember when this album came out 10 years ago. I fucking love it. Now I can revisit what I get it, okay? But it's the same fucking album again. And people and like, then she is- sells a million copies. And it's just like, How the fuck does that happen? You already have the music. It's the same thing. <laughs> Why are we talking about this again? <laughs> it's make an album and record it again somewhere else. I was thinking, Patrick, yes. <laughs> I get it, you know? But I, I hate the fact that she has this power over people. She sold she a has an army. copies. If, if tomorrow she said that the U.S. government was in unfit to rule our country and what we need to take over this country, no. it would happen. I'm no. telling you. No, you got like 12 year olds, it's not going to happen. 12 year she, got, doesn't, she doesn't have that kind of you power. You have 90% government, of the okay? female population in the United States. Because I'm happens. talking about overthrowing the government. She doesn't have the power to overthrow she the does. government. But you know, she has the power to influence. <laughs> she has so much. She has the power to influence and be like, you're if they came to her, there's Swifties in the government. She has yes. people on the inside. If she came to them, if she if she woke up one day randomly, was just walking outside to get coffee, and somebody said, "Who are you voting for, Jonathan or Michael?" And she, they went. She went. I mean, Jonathan kind of sucks. So I'm going to vote Michael. Every person who's old enough to vote, Michael would win the fucking vote because she has that kind of power. She can't overthrow a government. They okay, would walk okay, up to the White okay, House so, and be like, you need to So here, here's a hypothetical. No. Just real quick. It gets tough. If for some reason, somehow, Biden got a lobotomy and his brain literally didn't function, she went, you know, I still like Biden. Ready, ready? Here's the, here's the, <laughs> he's already like that. <laughs> That's for our Republican listeners. <laughs> Half the brain capacity he has now. And she's like, you know, I'm, I'm still backing him. Would he win? Yeah. That's 100%. Something. I hate this fucking country. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I want to go back. What? The glass. I want to go back to 2015, Miguel, on his YouTube channel, Multi Personality Gamer, who was excited for Dwayne The Rock Johnson to run for president in 2020. He said that he actually got contacted. Of course he did, because he he's he's not like That's the level. That's wild. Of, it's, we're not talking about politics. That is the one rule of the Anything Bull is that we deliberately stay away from politics because we will both get angry and we'll just start screaming. Okay? No. No. I veto. I veto talking about politics. I still think Arnold Schwarzenegger should run the world. It's so nice. I don't even know his political background. I just want the Terminator to be in charge. So to wrap things up, now that we've managed to go from Godzilla to fucking Bob Taylor Iger Swift. to Taylor Swift... Taking over the fucking world. <laughs> Dictator Swift. I'd watch that movie. I'd what like do you see me pile of shit she just put out? I'm just trying to get this the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited for the new Godzilla movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Are you excited to watch Godzilla we're, Minus we're, One? We're not tomorrow? on Godzilla anymore. Just wrap it up. This is where the ending is. Are you excited to see <laughs> Godzilla Minus One? A little bit. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Brendan? <laughs> yeah. What did we do last week? We re- reviewed The Lord of the Rings. Oh, my God. We did. Uh, an Invincible <clears throat> episode and The Killer, who was not in the mirror. That is a- That's a, such a small niche <laughs> reference that nobody's going to get. But those are doable. will appreciate Yes. Last week, folks, we did a Lord of the Rings and a Netflix murderer from episode 82. Uh, we talked about... We, made, we talked about Lord of the Rings for an hour because it's Brendan's favorite franchise. You should check eh. that out. It's a link in the bio. And uh, what are we doing next week? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? I'm going to come on Bob Iger. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs>